God. Let me give you an update on those that were baptized in other locations uh, this afternoon. One in Franklinton, North Carolina, one in Newport News, Virginia, two in Charlotte, two in Rocky Mount, uh, two in Texas, two in Monroe, Louisiana, three in Fredericksburg, Virginia, four in Atlanta, nine in headquarters, and 12 in Miami. <laughs> it is beautiful. How the Lord continue to move in this great work. And as I was saying <clears throat> earlier today, our new studio is presently under construction. The uh, presently getting together, the Truth of God Studio 27. And I would love to see the reaction. You see, our interviews won't be like other places trying to praise you for what you've done and all that stuff. I just want to know if you claim to be Christ-like <clears throat> and you are a rapper, entertainer, how does all these things balance out with God? And should you have to surrender these things to walk with God? Can sweet and bitter water come out the same fountain. You know, years ago, <clears throat> in the 1950s and 60s, let me show you how even religious groups start to compromise. The nation of Islam was very strict when Mr. Elijah Muhammad was living. The women was not allowed to straighten their hair. He spoke against jewelry. And if you were an entertainer, he spoke against that and you had to come out of the entertainment industry to be a Muslim. It ain't like that now. That's the way it is in church. In church years ago, the preachers did not believe that the entertainment industry and God mixed. But when they saw that the entertainer had large tithing, ah, <laughs> that bundle, that Geico bundle, Right then, they said the Lord worked in mysterious ways. <laughs> it's sad what money have done to people. This is not everybody now. There are some people have plenty, and you would never know it. It's true. Because they're level-headed, they're discreet, and they're humble, and more importantly, their heart is in the right place with God. They have those that want you to know what they have. Very liberace -ish. <laughs> No, when Liberace was living, he always wore clothes like they'd been charged up for a week. <laughs> they sparkled and glittered so much. Amen. Big diamond rings. Special cut like a piano. And I often think of all these talented musicians, how when they die, all their talent go with them. None of that talent, none of that skill, none of it remains or go from one and jump on another. The book says, how do the wise man die? Then the book says, as the fool. There's this riches. relationship. You're yelling out riches. Amen. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 13. All right, we'll see what Elder Williams has because he's letting me know he's ready. <laughs> he fell as, <laughs> he fell as though I'm taking up too much time talking. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> he just blood in. <laughs> riches. 
All right, Mr. William, let's hear what you have. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 13 and verse 24. All right. Riches are good unto him that hath no sin. Ho, ho. <laughs> Amen. I'm pretty sure most people in life ain't know that was in the Bible. <laughs> Amen. But this is wisdom talking. That's right. Listen. Ecclesiastes. Try to give chapter and verse again. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 13 and at verse 24. Begin at verse 23. At verse 23. Listen. When a rich man speaketh. 22. At 22. When a rich man is fallen. <laughs> 21. At 21. A rich man. 20. At 20. As the proud hate humility. What? As the proud hate humility. As the proud hate to humble themselves. So doeth the rich abhor the poor. So does the rich abhor the poor. At poor, abhor poor folk. That's right. And if you look at any bill <clears throat> that's to be voted upon to turn the law, if it's going to help people that's in need, Look how hard it is to pass it. That's true. That's true. And the ones who don't want it passed, they got plenty of money. That's right. You see how sick that is? That's right. They got plenty of money, but they don't want you to have none. Amen. It is written, says what? As the proud hate humility. As the proud. I don't like to be around proud people. No. They get under my skin like a rash <laughs> because they have this superiority complex. That's right. Like they doing you a favor just to be in your presence. That's right. No, God is doing you a favor just by keeping you breathing. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. What is it? As the proud hate humility. As the proud hate humbleness. So doeth the rich abhor the poor. What else? A rich man beginning to fall is held up of his friend. A rich man beginning to fall. On his way down. Is held up of his friend. Friends hold him up. But a poor but man. Hmm. A man who don't have nothing. Being down. Being down. Is thrust also away by his friends. Why is that? Why is that? Because they feel as though he don't have nothing to offer them. That's right. That's right. You know, you can buy friends with money. Yeah. You bear in mind, they won't be real friends. Mm -mm. But there'd be some good pretenders. That's right. They'll hang around you when you, that's why I tell the people. That's right. <laughs> Whenever, just say if something happened and you go on, you come into some money, whether by an insurance claim or someone die and leave you something, wouldn't be wise for you to advertise it. I don't care how happy you get. That's right. A fool tell all his heart. That's right. There's only a few people in life you can confine in and something like that and it stay yeah. from the womb to the tomb. That's right. There are some people who cannot handle a lot. Mm -hmm. They'll kill themselves. Yeah. Yes, they will. They will destroy themselves and destroy all those around them. That's right. A million dollars is a million dollars. Years ago, it was a million. You take one dollar from it, you got 999,000. Right. Million won't last long now. No way. You look at these people play the lottery and hit 20, 40, 50, 100, 200, 300 million. Broke. Broke. How do you become broke after having <laughs> 400 million dollars? Mm. Through foolish spending. That's right. They don't think of taxes. No. They think of buying. Then they think they can help everybody. And one thing about money, <laughs> it make relatives. That's right. Is that the truth? <laughs> what do you mean? Relatives 
You didn't know you had. Yeah. Somebody come out. I'm your 55th distant cousin. From your great, great, great mother's side from Argentina. And here you from West Philadelphia. So a fool, you know, when you're God's people, you don't play the lottery. That's right. When you're God's people. <laughs> when you're God's people. That's right. If it wasn't a sin to play the lottery, I, I may play some. I oh, may would. I know I would. You know you would? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But to me, one of the dumbest things to do is when you win, they advertise you. Yeah. It's like to me, you want to go under the radar. Right. See, if I, if I was out there like the center, I, I, I may play a few numbers, mm -hmm. but I would go under the radar if I hit. Yeah. I don't want my name out there. I don't want you to give me no check on television. On television. Give it to me behind closed doors with the lights out. <laughs> That's right. I don't want nobody to know who I am. That's right. You know, there's wisdom when the Lord says the love of money, love of money. is the root, the source, the foundation of all evil. Of all evil. All evil. Money have broken up marriages. Oh, yeah. Money have made sons murder their father and mother. That's right. Money have made wives poison their husbands. Yeah. And money have made husbands murder their wife. That's right. So money, everyone can handle. Bless the one. Blessed is the one that can handle a few dollars. That's right. All right, get this. When a rich man is fallen. When a rich man falls. He has many helpers. You know why he have a lot of helpers? Because they feel as though they're going to benefit. They feel as though he gonna look back and remember, Brother Kevin helped me when I was down. So the Janelle helped me when I was down. And Skaleski helped me when I was down. And Marie Johnson helped me. Yeah. So he may give them something. Yeah. So when they, when people help the rich man, they feel as though they got something to look forward to. That's right. And that's sad because some people reach out and help you, not because they think something of you, <laughs> because they want to get something out of you. That's right. Which is still equally wicked. That's right. All right. When a rich man is fallen, he has many helpers. Yes. He speaketh things not to be spoken, and yet men justify him. That means he'll say anything. Anything. Look at all the madness stuff that Trump would say. He will say stuff that cartoons didn't say. That's true. <laughs> and cartoons ain't real. That's right. But they justified it. Justify. In other words, street terms is they suck up to him. Yeah. And that's a sad thing. Yeah. When money will make you sell your yeah. dignity. That's right that you're willing to go along to get along Amen. with anything as long as you're getting a few dollars in return. That's right. Amen. There are some people, the Lord blessed them with a reasonable amount, and I, was no, and I know some of them, and they don't act like they have anything. Wonderful. Very humble. Wonderful. Very disciplined very well-mannered, <clears throat> and they don't advertise. Mm -hmm. No one should be so nosy to try to see how a person live or where they live. Why would you Google somebody's address? Mm -hmm. I want to see what kind of house they have. What business is it of yours? You don't live there. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's nosy. News don't be busy about it in other people matters. That's right. Amen. Listen now. When a rich man is fallen, he has many helpers. When a rich man falls, he has many helpers. And that's the truth. That's true. Even his enemies are coming. Yeah. 
hoping that he don't remember <laughs> they're his enemy. That's right. Mm -hmm. He speaketh things not to be spoken. He say things not to be spoken. And yet men justify him. And yet they justify that fool anyway. The poor man slipped. The poor man slipped. And yet they rebuked him too. They feel as though he poor, he ain't got no business falling. That's right. Chastise him. That's right. When you finish that, I want a book of James. Yeah. Gay clothing. Amen. Poor clothing. That's right. Because the apostles preach the same thing. Same thing. All right, hear this. The poor man slipped, and yet they rebuked you him know, too. You know, we have had wealthy folk visit the truth of God since Frankfurt Avenue. Very wealthy. Amen. When I travel, sometimes they stop me in the airport. NBA players, mm -hmm. NFL, tell me how they enjoy the program, how they watch it. Yeah. These are millionaires. I don't care what you are. That's true. I know you can't catch a ball into the kingdom. <laughs> That's right. And I know you can't dribble one in there. Amen. And I know you can't hit one and it goes there. Mm -hmm. God have it fixed so. Nigga, you came in the world. That scripture stays in my mind. Amen. If you're living still, and you're in your 60s and 70s and 80s, do you not realize that God's mercy is being shown upon you yeah. just to give you the time to get fully on his side? That's right. And he also will give you time to live up to whatever vow you have made to him. My Lord, my Lord. All of it is mercy. That's right. You made a vow 20 years ago, and now you're in your 70s and 80s, and God got you still breathing? He's being patient, yes. loving, yeah. merciful. Yeah. Giving, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be God, giving you time. To work that vow out. That's right. So when he come for you, you on good terms with him. My Lord. Let us understand something. All of this, ladies and gentlemen and viewers, is boiled down to being on good terms with God. That's right. All right, come on. The, the poor man slipped, and yet they rebuked him too. You may want to kick them lights back up so the viewers can see. Yeah, all right. They're not bothering me none. Amen. We don't need to see the Bible, even though he got glasses. That's right. You know, because sometimes he make up scriptures. <laughs> Amen. He make up scriptures. He be double quoting them, shuffling and oh, everything. Oh. All right, Elder Williams, come on. The Release poor... yourself. Don't fight the feeling. Give it up. <laughs> Just let yourself go. <laughs> All right, come on, Mr. Williams. The poor man slipped, and yet they rebuked him too. Yes. He spake wisely and could have no place. See, a poor man speak wisely. They don't recognize him. No. Jesus came appearing poor. Yeah. Look how sharp his wisdom was. Oh, yeah. God manifested in the flesh. In the flesh. On everything. Yeah. This Jesus said, all things the Father have are mine. Mine. He said everything. Everything. And then he come along, and the Bible says his vice yeah. was more mired oh, than any man. Amen. His appearance wasn't a wealthy look. That's right. That's Scruffy, right. poor, looking. poor looking. And then declared to be king. For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. What is it? Give chapter and verse. Second Corinthians chapter 8 and at verse 9. Uh -huh. For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. What is it? That though he was rich. No. Uh -oh. Though he was rich. Yet for your sakes he became poor. Oh, that. Somebody say you just said he wasn't rich. That's right. That's right. He wasn't. But the Bible said he was. You got to know how. How? That's right. That's more than one way to be rich. Oh, yeah. Jesus' riches was not of the earth. No. 
Jesus' riches was the wisdom of God. That's right. Amen. That's right. He was wealthy in spirit. That's Anytime you got the wisdom of God, brother, you rich. You rich. Not only that, you know all things. That's right. Jesus of Nazareth knew all things. Everything. He knew everything. everything. And then he declared all things the Father had mine. is mine. That means the universe is his. Mm. Hallelujah. Glory <laughs> to God. The moon, the stars, the planets. Hallelujah. That stuff belonged to Jesus. That's right. That's right. One time he declared that he can call 10,000 legions of angels. Of angels. Death belonged to him. That's right. Amen. That's right. He told Lazarus, come forth. come forth. Death backed off. Yeah. Lazarus came out. The wind belonged to him. Yeah. He told the sea, peace. Be still. Hallelujah. Everything. That's right. Calm down. That's right. All things. All things. God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Everything, Everything the Father had, he declared, mine. 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 Oh, yes, his riches wasn't like you fellas, no. banking money, stocks, bonds, gold bars. Uh-uh. Oh. The universe is his. That's right. He owned life yeah. and dictates death. Oh, yes. He make things happen whenever he choose. That's right. Amen. Are you getting me? That's right. I believe one prophet talk about the creating power of God and said by the clap of his hands, heaven and earth stood together. Oh, yes. Glory to God. Oh, yeah. Amen. Bible says he have the winds in his fists. And place the waters in his garment. Scripture says the clouds are a chariot to him. Yeah. And he ride. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God upon the wings of the wind. the wind. One of the messengers looked at God and said, He hang, he hangs the earth nothing. on nothing. Nothing. Hallelujah. Amen. That's right. Waters obey him. Yeah. Until the Bible says he gave the sea her decree, her decree. and left the beams of his chambers in the waters. In the book of Joshua, chapter 11 and verse 46. That's what? Did not our fathers in, in days of old. Did not our father in old days. Sin in this manner. What? And the Lord God of the universe. The Lord God. Of the universe. I told you. That's right. Of the universe. Brought the waters of the flood upon them and destroyed the whole earth. And what? And how can you continue to do this? How can you continue to be this way? And serve gods of wood and stone. And serve idols. Who cannot hear. Can't hear. Or speak. Can't speak. Or deliver you from can't oppression. Can't deliver you from nothing. Thereby bringing down the anger of the God you of the universe. Bring down the anger. Of the God of the universe. Human family. Hallelujah. One day you're going to hear the anger of God until it be deafening in your ears. That's right. When he shake the heavens. That's right. You be a fool now. Make mockery of God all you please. Yeah. You know, when I came up in the thunder and lightning, we wasn't allowed to play. We had to sit down in the house. That's right. Turn the TV off. You turn the radio off. Even mother didn't cook. She turned the stove off. That's right. Sit down. Yeah. Say the Lord is talking. Yeah. Today, they can thunder and lightning. They'll be outside playing. That's right. And then somebody gets struck and they think it's funny. God thundereth marvelously with his voice. Do you hear this? In Job chapter 37 and verse 5. God thunder Marvel marvelously with his voice. We have a great God. Oh, yes. Men try to dwindle him down to be like them. Mm -hmm. But you will never, go, you will never make God like you, viewer. Behold, God is great. Huh. See, man is great in his own thinking. Right. <clears throat> 
Man don't think he don't have no one to answer to. That's right. Long as your little piece of breath in your body, you don't even own that. Yeah. You think you somebody. Look how foolish and ignorant you are. You don't even own the breath in your nostrils. That's right. Your soul don't even belong to you. That's right. You don't even belong to you. God said all souls are mine. Are mine. He shaped the earth whenever it pleases him. Bring a wave to wipe out cities. That's right. Towns, countries. Now in the places that were populated by millions, desolated. That's right. Now the living become food for the dead. For he saith to the snow, What? Be thou on the earth. He saith to the snow, listen be, at this. In Job 37 and verse 6. Be thou on the earth. Likewise to the small rain and <clears throat> to the great rain of his strength. Yes. He sealeth up the hand of every man mm -hmm. that all men may know his work. Amen. Viewers, have you cursed God? Mm. Your pain that you now have, your vision that is now blurred, your body that you now have problems with, and you're writing all these TV preachers for prayer, getting magic material, <laughs> magic water, magic spoons, That's right. magic knives and forks. That's right. Did it ever occur to you that it can be God? That's right. You may say, God don't afflict pain. Hmm. Do you not know God can make you sick? In the book of Micah chapter 6 and verse 13. I want to educate you tonight. That's right. You Jehovah Witnesses that says it is no hell. Look, even I wish that you were true. That's right. But danger. That's not true. The same God that destroyed the world in the days of Noah. The word is written how the water rose 15 cubits above the highest mountains. Can you even imagine it? Mm. Not a peak of a mountain was peeping out of the waters. That's right. Not even the tip of a mountain That's right. was peeping out of the waters. Not even the tip. That's right. The planet was engulfed by water. by water. The water obeyed God's command. That's right. Nothing nobody can do. Man can build dams, but you're not holding back water. No, no. God is just being merciful. Yes. But when you choose, just like a plant can break through concrete, Concrete that's too thick and heavy for man to lift. That's right. God can take a tender plant, yeah. break that concrete up. Yeah. And God will, whenever he chooses, he can put a crack in the dam. That's right. Let the water just leak. Yeah. Don't let it come on you at once, just leak. Mm. Give man a chance. To challenge himself. Yeah. See how smart he is. Mm -hmm. Then man said, I got it under control. <laughs> then God looked down from heaven and said, I want this whole city. Yeah. I'm going to take you all out of time and push you into judgment. That's right. That's right. Tell the damn, be thou removed. Yeah. Mr. and Miss, nobody have no power. No. None of you. No. Only God, Only God. is all-powerful. That's right. All-knowing. Yeah. You foolishly say, I'm my own man. <laughs> Look at what you're made of. Yeah. Clay, right. dust, yeah. dirt. So you're your own dirt. <laughs> I want to show you how little you are. Little. That's right. You're your own dirt. Yeah. You're nothing. Nothing. You're less than nothing. All nations be before him. Listen. In Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 17. All nations before God. Are as nothing. Are as nothing. And they are counted to and him. And they are counted to God. Less than nothing. Only God can bring you down that small. That's right. 
Because we wouldn't think of less than a zero. That's right. You're less than a zero. Less than nothing. You're less than nothing. Mm -hmm. Well, I got all the money in the world. You ain't got nothing. No. God proves it to you. He smites you. Smite. That's right. Draw your hands up. Now you can't count the money you love. That's right. Smite you. Take your momentum away. Now you can't go to the bank to your vault. That's right. He smites you. Take your vision away. Now you can't even see the dollars that you like. Mm. He smites you from head down. Yeah. Now your body cannot enjoy it. Not a penny you have. That's right. Oh, God is too good to do such a thing. Mm -hmm. Let's get some Bible now. In Micah chapter 6 and at verse 13. I want to show the world that God himself can and will, and will. make you sick. That's right. Make you ill. That's right. If he choose to. Not the devil. No. Not the devil. That's right. All sickness is not from Satan. Amen. There's some sickness. There's an act of God's judgment. Yeah. God's wrath. Oh, yes. Glory to God to put upon mankind. That's right. I'm going to give you a Bible for this now. In the book of Micah chapter 6 and verse 13. Chapter and verse again. Micah chapter 6 and at the 13th verse. What is it? Therefore also will I make thee sick. God talking. Amen. Therefore. Also. Also, will I make thee sick? Why am I doing it? In smiting thee. I'm smiting you. In making thee desolate. And making you desolate. Because of thy sins. Because of your wickedness. Thou shalt eat. You shall eat. But not be satisfied. I told you it's Bible. Bible, that's right. Look at you now. You got your money, but yeah. you got to eat through a tube. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Look at your money. That's true. You can't drive your fast cars no more now. Yeah. You got that money. You got that mansion. And they got your bed in your mansion. And you're on an oxygen tent. That's true. God is showing you. That's right. You don't have no. When or when, or when are you going here? This message of holiness that brings you back to reality. Yeah. That God is God, That's not right. you. That's right. Give me the book of Daniel yeah. that comes to mind. Mm -hmm. There was a king that got beside himself. That's right. Very wealthy king named Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar. And God was with him. But there was a dream, a vision of the night mm -hmm. of the watcher. That's right. I want you to hear this. In the book of Daniel chapter 4, I will start at verse 13. Follow me and get me. I saw in the visions of my head upon my bed. Yes. And behold, a watcher. A watcher. And an holy one came down from heaven. Uh -huh. He cried aloud and said thus, you down the tree. Cut down the tree. And cut off his branches. Cut down the king. Shake off Hold his. Hold it. Mm -hmm. Cut the kingdom down. That's right. Hew off the branches. That means cut off that which branch off from the king. Right. You know, when a branch spring off a tree, the source of those branches is the tree. Yeah. You kill the source, the branches die. That's right. What else we gonna do? You down the tree and cut off his branches. And shake off his leaves. Shake. <laughs> That's something. Shake off, shake off everything that was gained. That's right. Mm -hmm. And scatter his fruit. All will he prosper, scatter that. Let the beast get away from under it. Let the beast get from under his rule. And the fowls from his branches. And the fowls from his branches. Nevertheless, leave the stump of his roots in the earth. I won't kill him. Amen. You see, if you root the tree up, yeah. you plant for it to die. But if you leave the stump, stump, that means you're giving the tree a chance yeah. to be revived. That's right. The tree was Nebuchadnezzar, and the stump was Nebuchadnezzar in a different position. Mm. 
Are you getting me? Go ahead. Hew down the tree. Hew down the tree and cut off his branches. Cut off his branches. Shake off his leaves and scatter Take the leaves off and scatter them. Let the beast get away from under it and the fowls from his branches. But what? Nevertheless, leave the stump of his roots. I'm going to show mercy. In the earth. Because if I leave the stump of the roots in the earth, yeah. then the water that's in the ground can replenish mm. that stump. That's right. And then that stump can come back that's right. and be vibrant and greater than it was. That's right. Viewers, many of you watching me now, God have cut you down, yeah. but have not cut you off. That's right. That's right. That's right. In your present stage, you're nothing but a stump, but a stump. and too foolish to realize it. That's right. He's giving you a chance to flourish again, but to give him service. That's right. You know, God don't bless you for you to be a fool. No. God bless you for you to remember and credit him. That's right. And not yourself. That's right. Listen. Nevertheless, leave the stump of his roots in the earth. Yes. Even with a band of iron and brass uh -huh. in the tender grass of the field. Uh -huh. And let it be wet with the dew of heaven. Let, wait a minute. Hmm. Have an iron of. Iron and even with a band of a iron band and brass. A band of iron and brass. Constrain them. Hmm. And what? In the tender grass of the field. And the tender grass of the field, that's where the stump going to live. And let it be wet with the dew of heaven. Let it be wet with the dew of heaven because the dew going to mount upon his body from and serving time out there so long. And let his portion be with the beasts in the grass of the earth. I'm going to run him out there to live with the beasts. Let his heart be changed from man's. Uh-oh. Mm. Let his heart be changed. Be changed. From man's. From man. And let a beast's heart be given unto him. something that's something now hear this the heart of man is deceitful yeah the heart of a beast is obedient wow, wow. there's not a beast of God creation that disobey God that's right do you see it yeah Every beast that God made and have made does exactly the way God made it. That's right. Yeah. That's right. The spider spin his web. The praying mantis use his hands and eat you alive. Yeah. The ram uses his horns. The lion uses teeth in his paw. Right. The eagle uses feathers and his beak and his claws. Right. The worm, silkworm, spin its silk, lodge in its cocoon mm -hmm. till it's born again. Mm. Or it go and get converted and become a butterfly. Go ahead, man. The same time of year, the snake shed its skin. Yeah. The same time of year, the wildebeest go down the same trail. I don't care how little that wildebeest is, it knows what trail to take in Africa. Yeah. Same route. Alligators is there waiting. God got some good food reserved for them. That's right. Changing Nebuchadnezzar heart from man from to beast. If he have a heart of a beast, he will live yeah. in the manner that God say live. That's right. It is the man heart, heart that differs from the beast heart because man is the his heart is the most deceitful thing and desperately wicked that's not the heart of a beast right the heart of a beast cooperate yeah. obey do what god say do 
Out of a man, I'm God. That's right. I won't pray. I won't bow. That's right. I cuss God. Yeah. No beast goes contrary to its creator. That's right. So taking away his heart was removing his stubbornness. Mm. Giving him the heart of a beast was giving him humility and cooperation. Wow. Because the heart of a beast will make his understanding return to him and make you realize this is how God intended for man to be since the beginning. That's right. Are you getting me? Wonderful. Before Adam's heart got wicked, Adam had no rebellion. No. He was cooperative, just as cooperative as the beast in the field. That's true. It wasn't until he fell. Yeah. The falling of Adam raised up a different heart. That's right. Get me. Adam's fall was the rise of a heart that was ungodly. Yeah. Now man has to fight, if he is godly, to keep his heart godly. That's right. A beast don't have to fight for change within himself yeah. at all. That's right. Hmm. Are you getting the lesson? Amen. Get this now. Let his heart be changed from man. Wait a minute. What do God want? His heart. To be changed from what? From man. Arrogance. Mm. Stubbornness. High-mindedness. Rebellion. Hard-headedness. Wow. Mm. Bible says the heart is the most deceitful thing and desperately wicked. God wanted to change Nebuchadnezzar yeah. and to change Nebuchadnezzar, he had to work on the emotions of his heart. Right. So I know what I do. I give you the heart of a beast. Of a beast. Why, Lord? They don't give me no trouble. Right. Are you getting me? Go ahead, man. They don't. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. It ain't a beast in the field, a fowl in the air, not an insect on the yes. planet disobeys God. That's right. Not one. That's right. God ain't had no problem <laughs> until he made man. He made man. And after he made man, what did God say? It repented him. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth. He ain't repent for making a spider. <laughs> no. We don't like roaches. They don't bother God. No. A dog chase you, <laughs> dog doing what it's made to do. It's made to do. <laughs> it bother us, it don't bother God. That's right. I know it bothers me. <laughs> That's right. I hate dogs. You bet. All of them. Yes, you do. Amen. Somebody heard me say that they wrote me, Pastor Jenna, you should love the animals now. God made them. All right. <laughs> Bible says this, these as natural brute beasts, brute beasts. <laughs> made to be taken and destroyed. That's right. That's what the Bible says. God ain't say I had to love a dog. <laughs> he ain't say that. No, he didn't say he that. He said, love ye one another. That's right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. If you love dogs and cats, that's your business. Amen. I don't love dogs. No, you don't. I run from them. <laughs> All of them. You still like dogs, William? Yes, sir. <laughs> Ever since I known him, he had a dog. Crazy mad dog. <laughs> we was growing up, and I would stop at his house. He had this uh, red looking dog. Mm -hmm. A dog acted like he was possessed with all the demons right. of hell. Right. That dog would chase anybody. Yes, he would. And then he would tell me, he don't bite. <laughs> You know, folks talk that stuff. The only time I believe it is the day I see a dog with no teeth. <laughs> and even then, I believe it'll try to gum you down. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> I want to educate you about the heart of the Nebuchadnezzar. Heart. Yeah. heart of man, mm -hmm. 
heart of beast, because most folks don't understand that. No. They think, well, if God give them a heart of a beast, it is the beast heart that's rebellious. It's the other way around. Yeah. It is the man heart that's rebellious. It is the beast heart that's cooperative. That's right. Remember that. That's right. Name one animal that disobey God. Not one. Take a one. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, William, listen now. Let his heart be changed from me. Let's get here, give chapter and verse. Now in the book of Daniel, chapter 4, we're at verse 16. This is good knowledge. Let his heart. Let his heart. Be changed. Be converted. From man. From man. And let a beast heart. And let a beast heart. Be given unto him. Be given to him. And let's when say. I, when, 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 when I give him the heart of a beast, he ain't going to give me no trouble. No. Amen. Amen. And ain't a disobedient beast that disobey God walking the earth today. That's right. Beast a disobey man. Yeah. Why? Because man is not the beast creator. Right. Beast will attack man. But a beast won't attack God. That's right. Beast won't cuss God. A beast won't go against God. That's right. The intelligence of God is in the beast to reverence him. Yeah. They are not designed to rebel, to go against their creator in the smallest way. But ask now the beast in the book listen, of Job. Listen, 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 listen. In Job chapter 12 and at verse 7. Says what? But ask now the beast. Ask the beast. And they shall teach thee. They'll teach it. And the fowls of the air. Fowls of the air. And they shall tell thee. They'll tell you. Or speak to the earth. Speak to the earth. And it shall teach thee. It will teach you. And the fishes of the sea. Fishes of the sea. Shall declare unto thee. What is all of this? The fowls, the fish, fish, the beast. What would you learn from them? Learn? That they don't deviate a half inch from the plan of God, the purpose of God, the will of God, right. the thoughts of God, the intelligence of God. Yeah. It is only arrogant, dumb, hell-bound, fool man. Fool man. So the heart of a beast have its proper place. Yeah. Lord, help me to obey you yeah. like the beast. Mm. That's a prayer, isn't That's it? a prayer. Amen. Wow. Lord, help me to wow. obey you. Mm. My God, until he said, observe the ant. the ant. Go to the ant. Do you hear this? In the book of Proverbs, chapter 6 and verse 6. Go. Go to the ant. To the ant. Thou slugger. You lazy thing. Consider her ways. Consider her ways. And be wise. Mm. God advised man. Go look at the ants. Go to the ant. You lazy thing. That's right. And you study their ways. And be wise. So you can know how to work. Which having no guide. That's what it's talking about. Yeah. So you can know how to work. That's right. That's right. You see how ants cooperate? Ants, if there's a flood, you can see a big round circle on water. And the ants is not on the wood. Not on no bottle, nothing. Yeah. They would lock arms and lock jaws. That's right. And float on water. That's right. Link to each other body. Yeah. And float. And then when they come on land, they are dismantled. That's right. And work and and build a nest in the ground. Yeah. That's something. They cooperate. The Lord says, go to the ant. All mother. right, you lazy ones that are watching. <laughs> Amen. Get out your house and go in the street and look at some ants. Go to the ant. Go to the ant. Mm -hmm. Learn something, you lazy thing. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Amen. That's right. An uh, ant will carry an insect 20 times bigger than his body. Yeah. And if he struggles too hard, other ants are coming. Oh, yes. You can see how wise they are. They start with their jaw, dismembering the insect. If it's too big, and then they carry it section by sections. Yeah. 
until they get it all down in the hole. That's right. They work together. That's right. Amen. Why? God put it in them. Yeah. Glory to God. Don't tell me he's not wise. He's the only wise, only wise God. God. Huh? Amen. Who in the world will come up with the idea? <laughs> Let me take, get rid of this man heart mm. and give them a heart of a beast. Heart of a beast. And when he, when, he, when he had that written, he knew people wouldn't understand what he said. That's truth. And someone had to come along with divine revelation and break down the heart of man and the heart of beast for you can understand it. That's because right. the colonel mind would say, man, I don't want no heart of a beast. Hmm. That's what the colonel mind would say. That's right. But the heart of a beast is an obedient heart. Yeah. Listen. Back at Daniel chapter 4 and verse 16. All right. Let his heart be changed from man. Let his heart be changed. Hmm. From man. From man. And let a beast's heart be let given unto him. Let a beast's heart him. be given to him. And let seven times pass over him. Yes. This matter is by the decree of the watchers. Yes. And the demand by the word of the holy ones. Uh -huh. To the intent that the living may know. Wait a minute. This will be done. Mm-hmm. That the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom God of men. rules in man's kingdom and giveth it to whomsoever and God he will. God will give it to whoever He want to have it and setteth up over it the basis of men. God will take the lowest of the persons. That's right. And set him over the highest kingdom. That's right. God will take someone uneducated, never been to college, never. Wasn't good in school. Mm. And make him an apostle. That's true. And set him over the world. That's right. And give him the wisdom of the heaven. That's right. Never been in college, none of that. Mm -hmm. And make him a preacher. Yeah. And give him the knowledge of the most high. Yeah. Which is the greatest knowledge under the sun. That's right. Listen. This dream I, King Nebuchadnezzar, this dream have seen. I, Nebuchadnezzar, have seen. Now thou, O Belteshazzar, declare the interpretation thereof. Yes. For as much as all the wise men of my kingdom are not able uh -huh. to make known unto me the interpretation. All right. But thou art able, for the spirit of the holy gods is in thee. Yes. Then Daniel, whose name was Belteshazzar, was astonished for one hour. Uh, wait a minute. Hmm. He was stuck. That's right, for one hour. But a real man of God won't just throw out an answer to impress you. That's true. He gonna wait till God give it to him. That's right. So ain't nothing wrong if you don't know right then. Yeah. Some folks say a real man of God will know right away. That's a lie, ain't no Bible said that. <laughs> no. That's your fool opinion. That's right. If Daniel didn't have it right then, there's liable than any other man any won't have it right man. then. That's right. The important thing is, you will have it when God wants you to have it. Amen. Because God will give it to you when it's necessary. That's right. Listen. Then Daniel, whose name was Belteshazzar, was astonished for one hour. And what? And his thoughts troubled him. The king spake and says, Belteshazzar, Belteshazzar let not don't dream. let your, 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 this dream trouble you. Or the interpretation thereof trouble you. Or, or, or how to analyze it. Belteshazzar answered and said, My lord, the dream be to them that hate thee. Yes. And the interpretation thereof to thine enemies. Yes. The tree that thou sawest which grew and was strong. What is it? Whose, right, whose height reached unto the heaven. Uh -huh. And the sight thereof to all the earth. What? Whose leaves were fair and the fruit thereof much. Yes. And in it was meat for all. Uh -huh. Under which the beast of the field dwelt and upon whose branches the fowls of the heaven. Yes. Had their habitation. Uh -huh. It is thou, O king. I told you. Amen. King, this is you. That art grown and become you strong. You are grown. You become strong. For thy greatness is grown. Your greatness is grown. And reacheth unto heaven. And reach to heaven. And thy Until heaven recognize how great you are in the eyes of God. My Lord. You know, imagine God make you so great until the angels got to recognize it. Mm. Angels in heaven got to admit that that mortal man is great. Mm. The Most High made him great. That's right. Hey, Gabriel, you see that? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Micah, don't, don't ask me nothing, man. He's great. Great. Mm. Hmm? Mm. Go with it. It is thou, O king. Oh, it's so beautifully outlined. Oh, yeah. It is thou, O, o king. That art grown and become strong. You have grown. Now I want to educate you. Go ahead, brother. God, raise up one and put him down another. You see, when God make you and make you prosperous, yeah. he don't make you prosperous to make selfish, 
arrogant declarations as if you done this. That's right. Don't you hear whenever we talk, we always credit God? That's right. That's right. I'm not stupid. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Why? I don't want to get you down. You down. Amen. You hear me always. God did always. this. God did that. God did the other. I tell you what God showed me. Yeah. But nothing can be done without the hand of God. That's, right. That's why I credit God for everything. That's right. That's why I tell all the ministers in their opening remarks, we bear witness. Yeah. We want to recognize God first. Yeah. There is no God but one. He is the true sender, teacher of holy prophets and holy apostles. He alone is God. He alone That's right. is the maker of heaven and earth. He alone offered up that sacrifice once for all through the eternal spirit and that's how the church come. That's right. He alone have no errors, have no flaws. Wonderful. And he alone is worthy of all praise. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. And these old infidels going to talk about there's two more with them. <laughs> Two more with them. My Lord. I'd take your other two and beat them into dust. That's right. It's hard enough to obey this one. That's right. Don't you go give me no two more, man. I'm sweating this out as it is. <laughs> Amen. You going to give me two more? Two more. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Homie, don't play that. <laughs> That's right. My God, man, this is a tough walk. Yes, it is. Now, you going to bring me two more guards? Two more. Them other two fellas, we going to fight. <laughs> I'm going to let them know I ain't got to listen to you. <laughs> That's right. And I'm not going to listen to you. That's right. One, telling me all what I need to know. Yeah. And sometimes I don't want to do that. Amen. 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 Listen. It is thou, O king, that art thou, grown. thou, O king. That art grown that are and grown become strong. And have become strong. For thy greatness is grown and reacheth unto heaven. Yes. And thy dominion to the end of the earth. Yes. And whereas the king saw a watcher and an he holy one. He saw a watcher and a holy one. Coming down from heaven. What was it? And saying, you the tree down and destroy it. Uh -huh. Yet leave the stuff of the roots thereof. The, in the watcher earth. and the holy one wasn't two gods. No. No, no. They were the angels of God. Angels. Watcher. Watcher. Angels that look. Holy one. Mm. One of the holy angels of God. That's right. I want to say, ain't no Bible called angels holy one. Bible said in the book of Revelation, I saw another mighty, mighty, mighty angel. Mighty. There's only one mighty God, right. but there's many mighty angels. That's right. Mm -hmm. And whereas the king saw a watcher and a an holy one yes. coming down from heaven and saying, You the tree down and destroy Cut it. Cut him down. And destroy it. And destroy it. Yet leave the stuff of the roots thereof in the earth. Give him a chance. Even with to the, redeem himself. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yet leave the stuff of the roots thereof in the earth, even with a band of iron and brass. Yes. In the tender grass of the field. Uh -huh. And let it be wet with the dew of heaven, and let its portion yes. be with the beast of the field till seven times pass over him. This is the interpretation, O king. What is it? And this is the decree of the Most High. You know, Daniel stuck for one hour. One hour. But wasn't after a while, God gave it to him. That's right. And that's what matters. That's right. When God give it to you. It doesn't matter if someone asks you a question and you don't know it. If, it, if you got to get back to him 30 days later. Yeah. That's the right. important thing is come back with the right answer. That's right. Don't give them an answer to try to prove something. Uh-uh. Yeah. Yeah. You don't give them an answer and it's the wrong stuff. Nope. Just tell them. I don't know right now. Right. I don't have that now. That's right. Amen. Amen. Then you're wise. Amen. It don't take nothing from you. No. Why? Good, perfect knowledge comes from above. That's right. Don't run ahead of God. Run, stay in back of him. That's right. Don't run ahead of the spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the interpretation, O king. All right. And this is the decree of the most high. What is it? It has come upon my lord, the king. Yes. That they shall drive thee from men. They're going to drive you from men. And thy dwelling shall thy be, dwelling with, the shall be with the beast of the field. with the beast of the field. And they shall make thee to eat they grass as oxen. They shall make thee to eat grass like an ox. And they shall wet thee with the dew wet of heaven. Wet thee with the dew of heaven. And seven times shall pass over thee. And till thou know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men. Then you will realize that the most high ruleth
within the kingdom of men. This is what I'm trying to convey to everybody watching. That's right. You don't own nothing. That's right. It is God that drove Nebuchadnezzar out of the kingdom. Yeah. God bring a flood and, and, and wash your house away. What wash. can you do? That's right. Nothing. Bring a fire, burn your house down. Ain't nothing you can do. No. You can get a hose and try to wet your grass. <laughs> I was watching the news some time ago. Big fire in California. Folks didn't want to leave their property. Yeah. One man had a little hose wet in the side of his house. Huh. God took that house and burned it anyway. He dropped that hose and took off. Amen. Yeah? Amen. Fire come to burn, and fire is burning trees and land. I ain't sitting up there no, no trying way. to wet my house down no like way. a fool. No. I'm getting away from that. Grab my wife and kids. Let's get moving. Let's get moving. What are we going to take? Our life. <laughs> That's right. Pack your life up and put it in that car and get going. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Don't get me trying to save some mortar and brick see. and a car. No, sir. Oh, no. All that stuff can be replaced. Yeah. But your soul, mm-mm. The Lord said, all souls are mine. That's right. Read quick. That they shall drive thee from men, and thy dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field. Yeah. And they shall make thee to eat grass as oxen, and they shall wet thee with the dew of heaven. Uh -huh. And seven times shall pass over thee, uh -huh. till thou know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men, and giveth it to whomsoever he will. Do you see this? Amen. God gave Nebuchadnezzar time, time. until seven times pass over pass him. Over thee. And uh, that's time mm -hmm. to reflect. Till thou know. Until your understanding click. That the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men. You don't own nothing. Right. You're not your own boss. That's right. You think you are. <laughs> that's true. You think you're your own boss. Sure you do. Oh, yeah. You arrogant, self-centered thing out there. Yeah. You think you're your own boss. You, you hear yourself. I'm my own man. <laughs> I'm my own woman. I got where I am on my own. Oh. You're so silly and hell deserving. That's right. Any little step you make in life, it'll only be by God's permission. That's true. And then while you're making these steps, God is giving you time to step towards him. That's right. And when you refuse to step towards him, towards him. he's going to shift your steps. Yeah where you can't make none. That's right. Your eyes will be open and you can't see nothing. Yeah. Your jaw will drop without words coming out. That's right. Your rhythm of your heart will cease. Yeah. The blood in your veins will be commanded by God, stop. That's right. That's right. Then your body will get cold. God will snatch your spirit out of your body. Your, body. your spirit will behold its surroundings. Yeah. Because the body without the spirit, the Bible said is dead. dead. So the spirit of a man is the awareness of a man. That's right. The spirit of a man is the conscience of the man. The spirit of a man is the alertness of a man. The spirit of the man holds the five senses of man. Yeah. For no sense work without the spirit. Without the spirit. Yeah. That's right. None of man's senses work. None of them. None of them work. Without the spirit. That's right. So when God takes the spirit, he takes man's battery. Yeah. Take the battery out the car. Yeah. Lights go dim. Spark go out. That's right. No life. My time is gone, but amen. amen. I'm going to quit, but you better get this viewers. Get this, get this. Amen. amen. Repent and be baptized, all of you. All of you, everyone. Get the wisdom and knowledge that holiness is offering you from God. That's right. God gave Nebuchadnezzar the beast of a heart or the heart of a beast stripped from him the heart of a man because the heart of a beast is more humble, more cooperative. 
that follow its creator to the letter. That's right. But man, his heart is rebellious, rebellious. stubborn, right. high-minded, yeah. full of the devil out of hell. Oh, yeah. You got to constantly tell that man be humble. That's but right. there's not a beast out here that do opposite from what the Lord made it. Yeah. Anybody want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet now if you want it. If not, remember Hallelujah. that uh, this week, start our youth conference. First youth conference in 2021. Amen. We look to see all of you. I know there's many hundreds want to be here, but because of the restrictions of foreign countries, won't be able. Yeah. But the many hundreds that will be here, thank God for them. Amen. Amen. And let us be going rejoice in the God of our salvation. That's right. All right. Thank God for this knowledge. Let us all stand. Under him that is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of his glory. Exceed and joy to the only wise God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be glory and power both now and forever. Let everyone say amen.